So this course is a third year capstone course uh, where students are to make a, a body of work for the, he's a digital design major, in the major, sorry, and the spectrum is quite wide. Students uh, are already specializing in their own fields. And so many students are so focused in their own work, they're, they're not seeing what everyone else is doing. And the classes are split into two classes. And so this is an opportunity where students can actually see everyone's work in the course and can actually see where the progress is and be able to provide feedback. So then everybody is, uh, is working towards the same goal in their own specialized uh, area that they've decided to, to final, to create their body of work. Uh, the task was taught without the peer review model. What tend to happen was that the students would completely just focus on their own work and their own task. They would uh, think uh, that their piece was at a high level, but um, it was realized a bit too late before submission that there was still a lot of adjustments required before they would submit that piece. And then um, during, the, during the semester break, they would actually in turn go in and, and refine and make those adjustments. By doing this beforehand, they were able to improve the quality of work. And more students in the course were producing higher quality work than before this peer assessment task uh, was brought into this course. Uh, for this assessment item, Pebble Pad is used for students to put their work into and then they submit that or share it to the actual workspace in Atlas. And then students will then in turn have access to that and be able to provide the feedback that already got open. So this would be a submission that the student would put into Atlas, showing their work and where they're at with regards to that. And so that's the second piece that's part of that as well. So in here, the student would, act, would go in and provide the feedback. We do see the uh, names of the students and the feedback they've provided and the actual rubric they got used for that. So the student would actually go in and do that themselves. And then we would then release these marks as the, as the tutor uh, released that mark to the students so that they could receive that as well. Now this allows them to really uh, understand where they're at, um, also allows us to then help the student um, shape up or correct any, any mistakes uh, or provide direction as well from that. But it's interesting to see how at this point uh, students are re have really started to understand what's, what's really required to achieve a high, high quality piece of work at the end of this trimester. And so then they would then begin to tweak or make adjustments to their current process to then refine that. So they'll be able to clearly understand from the rubric what areas are required. And then as tutors, we'll be able to elaborate even further with that. And then the student themselves would, would be able to understand that for their own work as well. So since they're providing that to someone else, they would also understand that for um, themselves and then they would make the adjustments. The process that we go through in, in uh, Atlas is through the management tools. This has to also be set up with uh, the actual roles and what features are available for the students and what features are not available for the students. We don't want students to go in and modify their own marks. We don't want students to go in and uh, remove other students and so forth. So we only give them a certain level of authorization for them to perform the task for this assessment item. So in setting up this task uh, within Atlas, there was a, a lot of support from the blended learning team. Now, it does take a, a bit of time in, in going through that process, uh, especially for a, a task for such a large, large class like this and keeping everything anonymous, making sure that uh, students within the same group are not marking the, their friends in the same group as well. So a few challenges from this course, uh, from using this peer assessment, is getting students to uh, really understand the tools and the software. Students had not used PebblePad before, had not used Atlas before. Some time in class was dedicated for training the students in getting them to know how to use PebblePad and how to use Atlas. That was a key in success when doing this the second time round, which made the task uh, run much smoother and much quicker uh, without getting in touch with students again, telling them that there was mistakes in the submission. And, and so that was a challenge. 
if students were to use the Pebble Pad system early on in the degree, uh, then by the time they reached to this third year level, it would have been easier. And so that, all, that would have been key in helping the students to really know how to use the tool, be able to prepare their work how they wished. They did feel that our Pebble page setup was a bit limiting in regards to adding in visuals for their assessment item. But in turn, the great thing about the page is that it does have a consistent setup and it's easy to understand and easy to do. The feedback from some students was that there was some limitation, but this was a small group of students that, that felt that way.